When you hear the phrase Wi-Fi 6, probably the first thing you're thinking about is what is Wi-Fi 5 or 4 and which one do I have in my house? In this video, I will be telling you all the basics you need to know about Wi-Fi 6 and whether you should upgrade or not. Also, I will be doing an unboxing and review and giveaway of Jumplink Wi-Fi 6 router. Coming right up. What's up everybody, my name is Sean, welcome to my tech channel. If this is the first time you're stopping by and you enjoy tech content like this, please consider subscribing and remember to turn on the notification. If you're an existing subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. So what is Wi-Fi 6 and why have you not heard of Wi-Fi 5 or 4, 3, 2, 1? So Wi-Fi for the longest time has always had very goofy names, 802.11a, 802.11b, G, N, A, C, and the latest technology in Wi-Fi that was released is called 802.11ax. Now the naming has become very confusing, so AEEE decided to give this a more meaningful name so average consumer can really understand it. Now prior version, which was 802.11.ac would be Wi-Fi 5, and prior to that would be Wi-Fi 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now Wi-Fi 6 is kind of a big deal. Let me tell you why. Every time Wi-Fi technology upgrades, the first thing we expect to see is increased speed. And Wi-Fi 6 definitely offers that. For example, Wi-Fi 3 to 4 went from 150 megabits per second transfer speed to 866. That was a massive jump from Wi-Fi 4 to Wi-Fi 5. From Wi-Fi 5 to Wi-Fi 6, the speed increased, but not as much as we have seen in the past. The speed went up to 1,201 megabits per second from 866. So why is this such a big deal? Well, in Wi-Fi 6, they significantly focused on efficiency. Now, before I tell you some of the benefits of Wi-Fi 6, we need to understand how previous versions of Wi-Fi work. So Wi-Fi transmit data through Wi-Fi channels. So imagine a channel like a highway, like this. Every time you want to transmit data back and forth between your devices, whether it's your Apple TV, whether it's a cell phone or your smart bulb, every time you're trying to transmit data between them, each of these devices, regardless of how much data they're transmitting, they have to wait for their turn. So for example, if you want to change the light of your smart bulb like this, when you send a signal and you want to change that, this bulb has to wait for its turn before it can transmit that data, even though it's not gonna use uh, <laughs> anywhere near the bandwidth that this channel offers. So regardless of how much data is being transmitted, only one device at a time historically could really talk to the router and they had to wait for the turn. First exciting change in Wi-Fi 6 is a technology called O-F-D-M-A. It's a mouthful, don't ask me what it stands for, but let me tell you why it's so exciting. Your router is able to divide this highway into smaller lanes, and in theory, it can communicate with up to 30 devices at once. And because of this flexibility that it has, it is able to allocate the necessary amount of bandwidth to each device and it can continue to update that. For example, my smart bulb may not need that much bandwidth and it may only take a small part of this highway to transmit data back and forth. So when you're streaming 4K or doing online gaming or using cloud gaming, it may decide to allocate a bigger chunk of this highway to that one device as long as you need it. And all this is being done seamlessly in the background. So in Wi-Fi 5, which was 802.11ac, there was a new technology release called multi-user MIMO. Your router would be able to communicate with up to four devices at once. Now it can communicate up to eight devices using multi-user MIMO, both download and upload at the same time. The third exciting feature of Wi-Fi 6 is BSS coloring. So imagine every time I'm trying to talk to you, I hear a voice, I have to pause and try to see if I'm hearing the neighbors through the wall or if maybe my wife or someone else in the house is calling me. The same thing happens with the current technology of Wi-Fi 5 or older Wi-Fi. 
So every time there's transmission from my neighbors, my Wi-Fi has to pause and try to identify if that is a transmission that my router needs to actually accept and do something with it or not. With BSS coloring, there are going to be identifiers on each of these packets. So if there is something coming from uh, surrounding Wi-Fi's in my neighborhood or my neighbors, my router is not gonna go ahead pause the transmission of the data inside my house to try to see whether it needs to do something with it or not. This particular is gonna be very useful if you live in an apartment or in a townhouse community where there's going to be a lot of Wi-Fi signals are flying all over the air. I just wanna mention one more efficiency that Wi-Fi 6 has and that is target wake up time. So imagine this bulb that we talked about or maybe a, a thermostat it may only need to adjust only certain times during the day to try to send an updated status to try to tell my, my, my source that uh, what the battery level is. It may not need to do that every second. But now let's try to get to this product I have here as well as the giveaway instruction. So when you open the box, um, inside is pretty simple. There are only two compartments. One, you have the uh, router itself with its four giant antennas and then you have another compartment with a power adapter and a data cable so this is fairly light it weighs about 1.25 pounds it has four uh, antennas to try to give you much wider range in the back you have a power button you have uh, a power port you have WPS if you're trying to connect it to other devices that they have the WPS button available so they can quickly sync you have a reset button you have your RAN port as well as four LAN ports this device right now sells on Amazon for $89 now what is the significance of this and why am I talking about this if you go and try to look online for routers that support and offer Wi-Fi 6 an average price typically is around 300 bucks now granted they may offer some additional features for example instead of four uh, instead of four ports they may offer eight they may also offer uh, USB ports in the back so if you're trying to connect your hard drive directly to the router for remote access so those are some of the other features you have but if you simply want really fast connection whether you're gonna be streaming 4k or do any kind of gaming to reduce the latency something like this will be really good so the connection is fairly straightforward all you have to do is just plug in the power plug in the data cable into the ran port and then on the other side into your modem next you need to go ahead connect to this wi-fi using your phone or your laptop or your ipad and go ahead follow the instruction log in initially by default the username and password is admin all lowercase and then you can go ahead change the password when i connected this and tested this device my speed went up by about 15 to 20 megabits per second compared to my existing wi-fi 5 router now granted it's about midnight right now and there are only maybe a couple of devices connected so i may not see that big of a benefit right now but typically when there are more devices connected, that's where you're gonna see the biggest bang for your buck. I have a link in the description below if you guys wanna go ahead, uh, check out this device and read more about the benefits and specs on the Amazon site. But also I have one unit to give away, not this one, a brand new one that has not been used and opened. And the way you can enter the drawing, you have to go ahead, subscribe to this channel, comment and like this video. Let me know that you want to enter the drawing and let me know why you want to win one. Also, you need to go ahead, follow me on Instagram. I hope you guys found this video useful. You learned something about Wi-Fi 6 and hopefully you're excited about new products like this and this one in particular because it is so affordable and it is less than one third of the price of many other Wi-Fi 6 routers that are available. I think this is a bargain. Definitely go ahead, check it out. And if you have any questions, comment down below. Hopefully I can answer them for you. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.